just has to have an empty mouth, right? Mm -hmm. Not me. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. My turn. <laughs> You're supposed to say I'm RJ first. Right. Well, you done said it, so we're good. There you go. We're podcasting late tonight. It is Sunday mm -hmm. night. Um, I made chili. It snowed today, and his chili is too hot. <laughs> He's mm -hmm. having issues. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't just sit here stuffing your face. You're going to have to talk to us, too, right? Because mine's sitting here, too. It'll cool down. I'll say a word. I'll shove a cracker in. I'll say a word. I'll shove a cracker in. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's get this started. Well, it's already started. This is, a, this is a big week for us, huh? It mm. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yup. That it is. All right. So, in the barn stalls. It's cold. That doesn't have anything to do with in the barn stalls. Patch, foot. Explain what went on with Patch. Mm. She got a lamp. <coughs> And then... And we doctored it for yeah, how long? Doctored it for a while. And it wasn't getting any better, so we just left her for a little bit. And her foot has finally grown out where we could do some trimming on it. I thought we'd trim it up and... thought maybe there was some kind of something going on with yeah, it. Yeah. Wasn't sure, so... Trimmed on the foot. Turned out to be, uh... Have some kind of infection. Abscess. Abscessed or something in it. So we cut all that away. Um, now she's a, sh a wool sheep wearing a cotton sock, huh? Yep, we uh, put a, cut it all away, and it left just a nub by the time we cut all the bad junk out of it. So, we've been putting medicine on it. And Not a grab nub of her leg, a nub of her hoof. No, uh, yeah. Her hoof is a little short, is what he Yeah, said. the hoof is short, so it's real tender, and we need to keep uh, dirt out of it. So, we put medicine in there, and then we take the sock. Iodine. Right? You know, put iodine on it, and then we put a sock over it to keep her from having to walk on the ground and getting junk in it. Yep, how's it working? Works good. Because at first we didn't use the sock. We first tried we to tape, tape it, it up, up and mm -hmm. that held in too much junk. Well, has like to be able to breathe. stuff in it, and it just didn't breathe. It has to be able to breathe, and the whole hoof just gets soft. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. And then we started a new regiment, right? Yep. What's that about? Come on, you're the animal dude. Um, what is that stuff called? Selenium. We gave them selenium e. and vitamin E. And then they were also worked. And, and they were also that. worked and gave iron shot and vi uh, wormer. So. We'll, well, see. and not all of them were given iron shots. Just the so ones, ones that were pregnant that, that were anemic. Yes. Um. Reba mm -hmm. constantly has a iron deficiency, and she's always anemic. Yep. Um, but the vet said it could be a vitamin E and solarium deficiency that causes kind of like failure to thrive in lambs. It can cause the same thing in ewes, but just take its toll on them. They always look thin. So we upped our game on her, huh? Mm -hmm. And we added some into the thing. We actually did the vitamin E and solarium mm -hmm. to the four that are over here. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow we're supposed to do the rest, but the weather isn't cooperating with us, are they? No. But we're still going to have to get out there and get it done because um, we're also going to have to treat the babies, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yes. Girl. Well. Okay. Whiskey. Uh, she's got... She got a cut on her foot. Which it? actually looks superficial. It looks, I mean, just like a, I don't even have any in my hands, but just like a little scuff. RJ's scuff is worse than hers. Mm -hmm. um, he took more skin off of his hand. But what's the big deal, son? And it's right there on her cornea band where the hoof grows, so. Yep, and it created a crack. Yep, so. What is her treatment? You gotta put iodine on it to keep the cut clean, and then keep piercing on it to keep the foot soft. So. Mhm. Mm For how long? Until it heals up. Mhm. Mm so. Well, and then you still have to do the piercing, correct? To yeah. keep the hook pliable as it grows out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who else do we have? 
That's it. Okay. Knights out of the pasture playing with? Fluffy and Nina. Yep. They were new this week, weren't they? No, we talked about them last week. Did we talk about them last week? Well, they were in this pen over here, though. I'm vibrating. <laughs> My phone. Yeah. It gives me a little zap. Um, okay. Anything else? Mm. Still watching for them babies. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to move on to in mending fences. And we apologize for both of us eating. Normally it's just RJ snacking or whatever, but it is, what, 8 o'clock here? Mm -hmm. And we're just now getting to eat. I only eat two meals a day. And this today, I don't even think I took time to eat that. But I drank my coffee, so I was good. Um, mending fences. It's cold out there. I've redone the latches in the barn, and the cattle don't escape anymore, do they? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, a lot of little things going on. Put up the other gate over here. Hung that. Got it hung. Redid the latches. Found the problem with the Wi-Fi. I'm waiting on a tool and some clips to come tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that should be fixed. Your laptop's ready to be picked up. I just haven't gotten down to the guy. I couldn't get there. He called me Friday. And I couldn't get there Friday. So I'll go pick it up tomorrow. Right? Yep. Um, then I tested the live stream on this computer. And I think we're going to take this little setup. I think you'll have a clearer picture. I think it'll be a better picture. Um, I'm going to try one of the other cameras. It won't be as great a picture. But I'm hoping because it's lower resolution, it won't stutter as much. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to put the other camera on here and test. I like to test late at night when not a lot of people are live because that way somebody's bound to pop in and say, you look this way or that way or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right? And it helps our internet not be so oh, sluggish because we don't have the best internet. I should have chewed that up more. <laughs> oh, excuse me. You ever okay. that happen? What? Well, like you didn't get a bite chewed up just right, so you like feel it like slide down there and it's going, oh. It's called an air bubble. Mm -hmm. No, it's not an air bubble. So this is like I can feel a cracker like poking my esophagus. Kink, 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 kink. All the way down. Can we get those uh, sound effects again? Kink, kink, kink. <laughs> All the way down. <laughs> Okay, so you're saying your pipes are rusty and tinking? Yeah. <laughs> tink, tink, tink. You know All right. Happen? Like Anything else? Uh -huh. I know. Anything else for men and fences? Ooh. We did a lot of cleanup. Cleaned up the fence line. Worked on latches. Just kind of little stuff around getting ready for lambing season. A whole lot of nothing that adds up to a lot of stuff. And a lot of check, walking out there and just checking the lambs. Mm -hmm. Or checking the... So, all right, in the yarn farm, what do we have going on in the yarn farm? We got a big contest going on. Tell us all about your new video, son. Um, and don't yeah. do it with your cracker. It's going to tink, tink, tink down your mouth. Take a, take a breather and uh, don't put that in your mouth until you tell them. All right, so Good. this is going to be on March 6th is mm. your seven-year anniversary, right? Yep. Okay. And what are we going to do? We're going to give away two lambs. Okay. For those that haven't followed us all along, why? what would possess us to do this? Because I got started by winning some Angora goats. It was the same kind of contest? Same. Yep. Same principle. Yep. So. We're paying it forward, right? Yep. We're going to do it the same contest. And yep. Okay. And that's a three-page essay. Or make a three minute video. And just email us the link to the video. I don't want the whole. Yeah. Um, just like post on YouTube, Facebook, send us the link. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we'll watch it and then we got certain. We have a grading system all okay. set up. We've thought it out. It's not. There is one um, part that is voting, but it only counts for like 25% of your score. So it's not a popularity contest. No. Um, all the rules are posted at barnontheweb.com, correct? Mm -hmm. And click on the blog tab, and it'll take you to. We announced on February 1st, so um, mm -hmm. that's where you can find all of the. Uh, 
what do you call it, rules. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, and they don't get to. Uh, There's a mouse on your nose. They don't get to pick their sheep, but we will tell and make it to whether it be fiber, meat, or show, right? Yep. Okay. Anything else about that? No. Feel okay. free to interrupt. Yep, we're super excited to see how many entries we get um, and just see where it goes. I mean, people are talking about it. There are a bunch of people in England that saw it on, on uh, YouTube. And there was like three of them in live chat the other day trying to figure out how much it would cost to ship two sheep. Because this one lady was shipping a dog, a Great Pyrenees, from Australia to some place. And it was costing her about 3000 And they were like, I'll just buy sheep here. <laughs> so. But. Anyway. Get your entries in. Mm-hmm. Well, can you imagine them? With two sheep. And then they have to, you have to go through like quarantine and stuff to import them. So. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, that's going on, right? Mm -hmm. Get your videos in by February 20th is one of the deadlines. It's the first deadline you have to know. Mm -hmm. Okay. We do encourage you to go and check out the blog post so that you know all the rules. Yeah. Um, we've got... We already talked about fireflies and stargazing. We've set the dates for the grow tower. We have fiber camp going on. We have all those dates in our newsletter, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, in the fields. Pretty much. It's cold. It's, it's cold. Um, it snowed today, so no gardening. I have that little greenhouse that I got on sale. Well, we, we put out our snowman seeds. We're going to see if we can grow some snowman. Um, oh, there is one thing that we forgot. Let's back up and go into Yarn Farm. We're going to take and do a presentation to the school, yep. correct? Mm -hmm. And we're going to put teacher kits together, and pretty much we're going to talk to kids about how uh, agriculture affects them. And we're going to do it not from a um, nutrition standpoint, but what standpoint, then? Wool, the their clothes, wool. the farming, um, you know, just kind of how it affects, kind of like what we do out here. Talking to the kids about how footballs used to be pigskin. Um, no, I we uh, talk to them about what their clothes are made of, that it's, you know, if, even if it's their jeans, it's grown um, on a farm. Uh, if it's their underwear, you know, and of course they, they giggle because we use the word naked. Um, but basically we, we teach them that they would be hungry and naked without agriculture. Um, we talk about their toys. We talk about, you know, the transmission of their car being insulated with wool. Um, all kinds of stuff. But anyway, we're going to go do and go through and do an entire school. So we're super excited about that, right? Yep. Oh. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. All right. Ah, oh, I did it again. Now chew your food, dude. Is that why we have tea? I thought we were just so we could inhale. Nope. All nope. right. I know. He's been trying to fit in that box all day. Rascal's got him in a box, and the box is too small for him, but he tries. Um, Rascal's cat trying to sleep in the box. A very big cat. But... All right, now back to in the field. It's it cold. snowed. Our snowman seeds are grown. I didn't even get the seeds planted for the stuff that I was going to do for the farm. So, it'll get there. Um, all right, in the farmhouse. It's RJ's fault. What? What is? Oh, number one, why we're late podcasting. Oh, because I've been gone. Okay, and in the farmhouse is where we talk about what's going on in our lives. What's going on in your life? I've uh, been gone or open the last three days. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, first you went to a... Kiss open. How'd you do? I won that one. Okay, and that was Friday night, right? Yep. I went to rodeo. This is Saturday. Yeah. He's yeah. not saying the whole thing. Come on. Saturday I went to rodeo. I didn't do any good. Got home late. 
Did you get up this morning and went to another open? Got home this morning at like one thirty. Something like that. Oh, we got home this morning. <laughs> Turned around and left again this morning. Mm-hmm. And just got home. It's 8 o'clock. So 12 hours later again. Got home and didn't do any good this time either. So. No, didn't do any good in the team open in general this weekend. Mm-hmm. Did okay in the camp open though, right? Yeah, I won that one open. That was it though. Okay. I've been cleaning things out. Correct? Yep. I cleaned the desk area out this time. Last week I did the fiber thing and this week I did the um, front room. I did all the laundry too. Uh, yeah, that was just today though. <laughs> all right. On the porch, I'm still working. I put all my other little projects on hold to work on what is off to market. Mm-hmm. And off to market is these are OSU colors. Um, this is a little baby beanie. The little baby booties, and they're really kind of cute. Um, they wanted them orange and black, and because the other. <laughs> The other child, I think, was born in um, October, and so they didn't want, like, pumpkin. She said keep it mostly black, and so I just did the black with orange trim. And so it'll have little black bottoms, the orange, and then little black ties. I thought about, because, oh, shoot, I thought about putting white ties in there, but then I thought that, you know, because they do have white in the OSU emblem. Then I have to incorporate white into this, and I really just like this. And it's for a little boy, and so it's, I just did it as a ribbed hat. Put a little pom-pom. I love pom-poms on babies. I don't know why. I don't wear pom-poms. I never had my children wear pom-poms after they hit a certain age. But I love, on babies, the little pom-poms. I have no idea why. I just do. So I made these. Me, I'm fine. Um, you, yeah, we had pictures of you, little pom I honestly, they were yellow and green though. <laughs> you had everything yellow and green. Even worse. Mm-hmm. Yellow, yellow snowsuit too. <laughs> hey, I'll take a snowsuit. Anybody got one? I'll wear that thing today. It's called coveralls now that you grow up, dear. It's cold. Anyway, so I made these and they'll be going off as soon as I get the address I'm supposed to send them it's to. It's so cold outside. The Eskimos said. It's too cold here. We're going to go north. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so this will go out in the mail as soon as I get the address from the lady that wanted it. Right? Yep. Um, anything else? I don't think so. It's I cold. I have another idea I'm working on, Ooh. but Ooh, it's hear. not... I'm not done. It's that spinner. Oh, you've been working on it for a while. Well, because I haven't had time to make anything. I've been too busy cleaning. <coughs> right? Oh. You can clean my room. It's a mess. I did half of your room today. Your no. laundry's all done. And I swept part of your floor. The bar area and all that. Literally half of the room. Thank right. you. Yep. You're welcome. Yep. You need my turn on my electric blanket and my heater? Yep. Dang it. You've been home since 8 o'clock and it's now 8.30. What's the extra problem? I've been sitting in front of this camera since about 10 minutes after I got home. Uh uh-uh. uh. You went out, put up your horse. He's so fibbing. Fibber, fibber. I wish I hadn't been home 10 minutes before you started that camera. It took me longer than 10 minutes to get you guys in, get the food served up. You're full of it. Mm hmm. I might be full of it. That's why my eyes are brown, but still. Mm hmm. Anyway. So, anything else going on? It's kind of short and sweet, and it's because we're tired. Um, I am going to uh, get a little, little bit more organized. I've been watching a couple of people on YouTube that I kind of like to watch. And they take one day, and they do, like, a plan with me. And they plan their <coughs> meals, so I don't have to, like... I just think it would help because they plan their meals. I did find out that I'm a fly lady. There's this book out called Fly Lady, and, and she talks about how you get up, get dressed, make your bed, be productive. And we've always said you have to make your bed because you can't be non-productive if you get up and the first thing you do is get something done. Correct. So, um, 
Well, that's on that motivational speech thing I always watch. Mm -hmm. It says, if you want to change the world, you start by making your bed. You do one thing until it's done, and then you do another thing until it's done. shaking the camera. Then you do another thing until it's done. And before you yep. know it, you've made a difference. Quit shaking the camera. I'm not shaking the camera. Then hold still. The job was off the table. Anyway, um, the thing that we use here is I do um, one task a day, like I'll clean the bathroom. And I think that's Wednesdays or Thursdays. I do one Saturday. task a day. Um, I clean the refrigerator out. But I get up and I do dishes and I start laundry and I always flip flop out. And on Sundays, I try to catch up on the laundry and get it all done. Um, the only thing that's dirty is like the clothes we have on. <laughs> and then um, I sweep them off the kitchen floor every day because it's concrete and it just gets dirty. Hey, look at my eyes. Look at this. See that one eye? Or this eye right here. It's backwards. It isn't open as far as this eye is. Why is that? What? It's called the lazy eye. Just can't make it do it. He's dorky. Anyway, let me finish. So this there's this book out called The Fly Lady. And pretty much it's schedule. And on each day you schedule one thing and then once you get that area done, you don't spend any more than like fifteen minutes on each thing. Um, so if you have like a trouble spot that your junk drawers, whatever, you really want to clean out. You only work on it 15 minutes and then put it away and, and go back to that one thing for one solid week. And within, you know, I mean, if you're putting every day into it, after that, you can just add it into your regimen and you won't have to use the whole 15 minutes on it because it will already be cleaned out. Um, so, anyway, I found out that my scheduling, the way I clean with the 15 minute a day thing, is considered the fly lady. Uh, I just call it my schedule. <laughs> So, but I do think that planning out, like, meals, I never know what I'm going to cook until I get up and either take something out of the freezer or that night. Um, the chili, when it started snowing, I was like, mm, I'm putting chili on. Uh, I didn't have the meat thought out. Um, was it I, like most of the time? We don't ever know if we're coming or going. Or I don't, let's put it that way. You don't. But if I had one thing planned to make every day... I wouldn't have to worry about what's thought out, what's, I'd know ahead of time. So, I think I'm going to try and plan for that. Well, what do we have tomorrow? I said I was going to start. I haven't even bought the journal yet. Oh. Uh. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, um, one of the ladies that does it is Mama Cats. I'll put a link to her channel in the description below. She's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. She does a little of this, a little of that. She's not as funny as I am. I am funny. She's the reason that we did the one challenge, correct? It was Mama Cat's fault. That was her. We'll put a link to her channel. But she does plan, and she uses, like, happy planners. And so, will you stop? I just anyway, like watching myself way off, the camera. I know, and you never look at the camera when you're talking. You always look down at the little square thing down here. Yeah, right there. See? Okay, but look in the camera. You're not looking at yourself. See? Oh, if I look in the camera, I can't see myself. <laughs> It's kind of like a mirror. You don't look yourself in the eye in the mirror. You look at what you're looking at in the mirror. Uh-huh. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to start kind of trying to plan, like, my meal so I don't have to think about it. My life is turning into no-brainers. And uh, I even have my, I looked at my old journal, and I'm going to start doing ideas um, because I have a couple that I'm working on that I'm not getting done. So I need to get those. I forget. I'm like, oh, yeah, I was going to do that. And then. That's called being old. I know. So I'm journaling. I, ha I have an idea journal. Idea journal. So, all right. Anything else besides you being dorky? What did you do Egyptian. with Dirk? Did, did we talk about what happened with Dirk? Mm-hmm. Really? What did you do with Dirk? Was that last week? Yeah, that was like two weeks ago. Okay. So I'm an Egyptian now. All right. We're gonna get off of here. Goodbye, like an Egyptian. Because he's just dorky now. He's like dancing and being a mummy. I don't know what he is. So we will talk at y'all later. And we'll see you next week. See y'all. Bye.